A man who has nothing but disdain for his competition, Ludwig Kaiser. Kaiser surveying the battlefield for the conflict to come. The following contest is scheduled for one thumb, making his way to the ring, representing Imperium from Hamburg, Germany. Weighing in at 220 pounds, one half of the Raw Tag Team Champions, Ludwig Oh, this is going to be special to watch. We are looking at a truly refined and elite level competitor. Uh, more like an elitist competitor. That sounds to me like you're a bit envious of Ludwig's talents in the ring. Yeah, there's no denying, however, Ludwig's technical skills. Well, he's still kind of a mean guy. He's not a mean guy in Saxony, he just doesn't like you. No matter who you are, Ludwig Kaiser is a truly intimidating opponent. Not uh, practically unflappable, strict and regimented. And there's such precision in everything he does. Ludwig is out to prove his European style of wrestling puts him heads and shoulders above the competition. Back in Europe, Kaiser is considered wrestling royalty. I'd say that's made him more than a little stuck up by our standards. He just seems like a cold-hearted snob. Be that as it may, there's no denying that Ludwig Kaiser's militant focus inside the ring has delivered results for him in the past. And the competition does not get more scholarly than this. Chad Gable is about to teach you idiots some wrestling 101. I take issue with your tone, Corey, but I can't argue with the substance of it. Chad Gable is the kind of wrestler who sees all the pieces on the board. He thinks of himself as a teacher. And if we're being honest, there's a lot you can learn from a competitor like him. Maybe not humility, but still. Corey, what's the biggest mistake a WWE superstar could make when in the ring with Chad Gable? The worst thing they could do is overlook Gable. Gable may not be as big as other superstars, but he can tie you up in knots and tap you out quickly. You need to treat Gable like the threat he is. We're stretching oh. out the knee. A lot of damage being done here. Oh, and an elbow. He's absorbed some damage already. A smart attack there by Gable. A true savant in the ring. A third! You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. Vicious knee drop. They've got their opponent's arm. Oh, that might have just broken something. No doubt Ludwig is having trouble here. Kaiser is being worked on heavily. Able to reverse that one. He skirts away, living to fight another day. Out of the ring, what's his plan here? Toss back into the ring. Whoa! Acrobatics like that take a tremendous amount of cardio and strength. Heavy body shots. Whipped hard. What a close line. Wait a minute, setting in. Devastating submission coming. Got the arm. Body gets out. Perhaps some renewed life in him now. And he sends him into the corner. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. You can see the intent behind that attack. Exploiting the arm must be the strategy here. Laser focused on the arm there. And that's what we call the tree of woe position, folks. Ah, he's got that boot right up against his face. Oh, come on. And there is no other term for that than just cheap, a cheap shot. Oh, 
Oh, look at this. Great creativity. And neck quickly. The cover. Pushes through after two. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. Connects the fist to the face. Great counter. Goes into the pin. Two count. And he kicks out at two. We'll see if this is the start of a rally. What could Chad be looking for? From the top. Diving headbutt. Rolling into a monkey flip. Chad Gable into the turnbuckle, rolling through oh, the German suplex. Can that keep Kaiser down? Jeez. WWE fans on their feet, showing their respect for this matchup. Great sportsmanship being shown here. Oh, come on. Just shake the superstar's oh. hair. Obviously, emotions are still running high, Saxton. You don't know how bad it feels to come up short in a situation like this. 